You know, I think Shook Me All Night Long is probably the definite, definitive rock song. Definitive? Hey, remember the time... No, there really is a time. Oh. Stroke with me. It helps. <clears throat> iron brew. Essence of iron brew. Brewed in Scotland since 1901 to a secret recipe of 32 flavors with a spirit that's as bold as its taste. You can't describe it because there's nothing like it. Nutritional information. So that was the time. Oh, there really was a time. All right. Seriously, that's why they call him Willie Alf Tanner. I thought it was because his name was Willie. Hello, and welcome to International Taste Station. I'm Sir Molly Johnson. And I'm Patrick, Patrick O'Neill. And this week we bring you a much requested beverage. One guy, but he's wearing a kilt. True story. Iron Brew, as well as Iron Brew Sugar Free and Iron Brew Extra. That's right, three Iron Brews. What's the extra? more. I forgot what a nice color it is. It is a really nice color. It has a wonderful smell as well. It does. <laughs> mm. I do enjoy that. It's a little light on the sweetness, which is seems to be a thing with British uh, pop, but this one gets a pass. It, it's just, it's too different. Smells relatively the same? Yeah, smells basically the same. Oh no, it does taste a little different. It's not quite as sweet. Not that the other one was sweet, really. Mm. But it, it's not as sweet. It's not a huge difference. No. It, it tastes thinner mm -hmm. and it has less of a like a less of an attack. It's more less um, of a sting. It's kind of more watery tasting, but mm. not. Yeah, I mean, fundamentally, it's the same taste. Mm. The, the taste is the same, the sensation is different. I feel like I developed the lisp on that one. It happens. It does happen. Does the color seem a little darker than the sugar-free one? It does, uh, and the smell is back. It smells more like the original. Mm-hmm. It's a lot closer to the original. Yeah. It, uh, it has more of an orangey taste mm -hmm. than the sugar-free. It's still missing that little, uh, that little zing. Mm. Closer to the but original. It's closer, though. yes. I almost think I would go with this one. You get almost the original taste, plus no sugar. Are these kind of like energy drinks? No. Uh, okay, so I think the question then is are we comparing these to each other or are we comparing the two alternatives to the original? Because I, I do quite like the original, but the original is different from the other two because it has, there's a little bit of a, for lack of a better word, there's a little bit of a zing, a little bit of a sting, yeah. a little bit of a tang a bit of an attack that the others don't have and it also just feels weightier it feels heavy i think we really just need to pick between the three well the, the thing is too um like, like you pointed out the original doesn't actually have a lot of sugar no, by north american it's standards. only got 16, 16 grams for the whole grams, can yeah for the whole can coke would be like 
what, 35 to 40 probably. Probably. Um, so it's not really sweet anyway. No. But if you are concerned about sugar. Um, and the sugar-free was good. It didn't really have so much of a punchy taste, though, like the original. The, um, the sugar-free, the, the silver can, uh, I did feel was lacking. Mm-hmm. Still good. It was, it was, yeah, no, it was still good. A lot of the flavor was still there. The, the color was mostly still there. But it felt very, very light. Like, not light as in a healthy sense. Light from a weight standpoint. Yeah. Um, you did sort of notice the no sugar. It was more kind of like a soda water. Yeah, it was kind of consistent. It was a little. It was a little blander. Yeah. Compared to the uh, to the real real deal, so the extra extra taste, no sugar. Now maybe they just added more flavor to make up for the no I sugar. I think so. But it's definitely closer to the original. I found it closer to the original, and. Um, uh, the, you know, it still didn't have that same level of attack or zing or whatever, and it did feel a little lighter, a little thinner. Yeah. But it was very, very close. I think I prefer it. I might actually prefer it too. Yeah. I mean, there's so little sugar in the real thing anyway that it's not really a concern. But they're all good. You know, it, it, Iron Brew makes a yeah. good drink. If you can get the same flavor without the sugar, why not do it? It's small changes, people. Small changes. So, um, two-part verdict. I guess if you're a fan of the original, that's not going to change. But I think... Go with the extra. There's no reason to not pick the extra over the original. And if you're trying to avoid sugar, don't bother with the sugar-free. Just go straight to the, the extra. Yeah, agreed. So, Grand Champion? Extra. Definitely. Check it! Every once in a while, you have to be firm with them. We're so going to hear from HR. Yeah. You the contract. Bok, bok. Well, that's all this week for International Taste Station. I hope you've learned something. And if it was about Iron Brew, that would be great. In fact, write in the comments section, I learned about Iron Brew. Share it on all the platforms. Say, I learned about Iron Brew. Throw in some hashtags. Add some, um, some some keywords, some search terms. Do what do do what you can to help some metrics and analytics, and um, tell us what merchandise you're willing to buy for far too much. Share, like, and subscribe. Share, like, and subscribe. Uh, subscribe. Um, tell us how much you'd be willing to donate to our Patreon or Patreon, however you want to pronounce it, and we'll we start don't one have for a you. Patreon. No, but we'll start it if if they're going to throw us money. We'll figure out ways to take it. True enough. Um, anything else? I think that's pretty much it. Well, until next time, I'm Sir Molly Johnson. And I'm Patrick, Patrick O'Neill. Bye. Bye. I think that went well. I think so. The, uh, <laughs> the, the Scotsman in the kilt. Yes. He might enjoy this. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. He better do all the things that we said to do. I think he should. And then he should go out and buy some extra Iron Brew. He should. And that there's a kid who claims he was named after some strange island. His mother named him after some island I never heard of. And that's why he says his name is spelled wrong. He likes the Iron Brew. And he should try the extra. Try the extra. Yeah. And he should know who he is. So he should comment, hey, I know you're talking about me. That's pretty cool, my dude. Are people still, still my saying dude? my dude? My dude. When did anyone ever say my dude? They were doing that for a while. Instead of like... My dude? Good sir. They'd be like... Hey dude. How's she doing, my dude? Not my dude. I guess they like dude, people but not my, my dude. dude. Well, he can phrase it however he likes. Phrase it dude, not my dude. Go with man. Man's good. I use that quite a bit. Or sir. I've noticed. Yes. Sir? Ma'am?